a short sleepless because usually not. The Uganda Heart Institute has one catheterization laboratory used for screening and diagnosing heart diseases. You can confirm and do the diagnosis there and then and you can proceed to intervention. And now most of the patients, like all these patients with heart attacks, now these children we used to play, are now being shifted to that mode of what? Of, of treatment, which is cheaper in the sense that the, uh, the devices and other things are expensive. But then when you cash on on the social benefit, paying for a shorter time, staying in a quick recovery, no scar, no sh short... So it is very advantageous. Having been under use for over 10 years now, the surgeons say it is high time government started thinking of installing a new model cath lab to avoid accidents in future. Every 10 years, they produce a new model. Now when they produce a new model, they st stop making parts and spare parts for the old model. You now, they now have a new m model which has come on and we have been budgeting it for the last three years and it has not been given. Now for us the message is this machine it is still working just because we have diligently done the preventive what maintenance. The executive director of Uganda Heart Institute, Dr. John Omagino, says if the institute is fully equipped with all the necessary equipment. This would save the country at least 75 million U.S. dollars annually on abroad surgeries since the current lab accommodates at least 10 patients a day and 5,000 a year. Now the cost saving, if those patients were sent abroad where each one takes $20,000 times 25,000, that would be a hundred million dollars. So by operationalizing these things alone in our own environment, Every year would be saving 75 million dollars, which is the money we are looking to build a new hospital. Dr. Omagino also stressed the need for remuneration of surgeons at the institute to enable them to execute their duties diligently. Pay the Uganda Heart Institute team enough to enable them concentrate and pay attention to detail as they are doing on these children. They are being paid by, like ordinary doctors, like ordinary nurses, which is unfair. It is what? Unfair. And I'm having to struggle to give them a top up, which is a tiny what, money, and even uh, URA is taxing it 30 what, a percent. Heart diseases can still be prevented if the public pays attention to their health, like eating healthily, living in a clean environment, and regular checkups. But in any case, these children are getting this because of overcrowding and sleeping <laughs> in that storage. Oh. So as we are improving uh, UPE, we should let these children sit in classrooms which are cemented. <laughs> Improve people's housing such that you don't cram 10 children in one bedroom or 100 children in one crowded classroom. The Uganda Heart Institute has signed a memorandum of understanding with Italy's Mission Bambini, a foundation which is going to train as well treat children with heart diseases within Uganda and Italy. So the Mission Bambini Child Heart Program, the objective is to save the life of children affected by the heart defect born in developing countries and to support the local team to be autonomous by international volunteer doctors and nurses. Uh, so I'm very glad that the Ugandan government is making efforts and is improving and collaborating with international partners, especially to improve education and, uh, and health care. A catheterization laboratory is an examination room in a hospital with diagnostic imaging equipment used to visualize arteries and chambers of the heart and treat any abnormalities found through the valves. Patients with intense complications which cannot be repaired in the catheterization laboratory, are transferred to the theater for open-heart surgeries. Mary Namkose, UBC News.